In today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything we picked up from two days at the Boston Card Show, including some really cool Josh Allens, a nice Tiger Woods patch auto, and plenty more. All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back to highlight everything we picked up over two days at the Boston Card Show. If you guys had watched the vlogs, I had mentioned in those vlogs that I had never been out to this Boston Card Show. Apparently it is twice a year. Sounds like they refer to it as the Shriner Show later in the year and they refer to it as the Rich Altman Show in the beginning of the year. Um, again, I had no idea what to expect, but I had heard from some people that the show is pretty good. And I definitely was not disappointed. There was a ton of different things to look at, a ton of quality dealers, some value boxes, and a whole lot more. So I want to get right into it and show you guys what we picked up from two days out there in Boston. All right, so I want to start off with some of the things that were more individual purchases, like one card deals, not big ball lots, which I'll show you here in a second. Because some of these are my favorite purchases of the entire trip, probably four of the top five or six purchases of the trip. Are right here in this stack. <clears throat> so starting off, we have an artifacts on card or uh, I'm sorry, sticker auto. It's numbered. You can barely see it. It's out of 25, but it's a Tiger Woods. Was hoping he would uh, do a little bit more this past weekend, but just the fact that Tiger is there 15 months after that major car surgery where they were looking at prosthetics with him, like might lose his leg. Um, this dude is golf right? It's just, it's crazy. Um, so it was, it was good to see him out there competing again. So I decided to pick that up, but that was definitely not my favorite Tiger Auto. This one certainly was. Check this out. Paid uh, like four, I think it was 1400 for this. Uh, this card is awesome. Definitely, definitely, definitely one I will keep in the personal collection. So you have a Tiger Woods signature gear towel, uh, authentic used towel, two out of five. Again, lucky number two, on card, bold auto, Tiger in the Sunday Red. It's a really thick book, actually. I mean, it's it's a pretty good sized book. Uh, great looking card, good picture on the front, him with the fist pump. But probably one of my favorite pickups at a show in in a minute. Uh, I saw this and I was like, yep, gotta have it. Uh, grabbed it and just could not be more excited. So definitely, definitely, definitely will be keeping this in the PC. But just uh, an incredible incredible Tiger Woods piece. All right, and then we got this guy. So this is a, this was a last minute pickup <clears throat> right before we walked out the door, a Blaze Jordan 2021 Bowman Chrome Draft Sapphire, I'm sorry, Bowman Chrome Sapphire Red, uh, on card auto numbered five out of five. Love, first off, love the color match. Thought that was super cool. Hopefully, uh, Blaze is called up here before too long. But I've been a fan of his. Uh, he started, again, I've mentioned before in previous videos that Blaze reached out, uh, sent us a game used bat and some other stuff to give away. Thought that was really cool. He had mentioned he watches our videos. Uh, so if you guys have watched other vlogs before, you'll have seen, or you would have seen when we go to card shows and I see cool Blaze stuff. I'll try to pick it up, but this is a whole different realm of that. This is uh, this is definitely an investment type piece, hoping it, uh, it turns into something big here in the future when he gets called up and hopefully dominates uh, out in Boston. So, love going to Boston. My wife and I have been there a couple of times. Absolutely enjoy it. Love going there for card shows. Love the people there. Um, so, to be able to get a Boston card in Boston of a guy I'm rooting for anyways, this is, uh, this is really fun. So, definitely one of my favorite pickups. And then this 2007 SP Authentic Adrian Peterson Patch Auto. Got to meet him uh, weekend prior in Chantilly out of the CSA show in Virginia. That's number 399. This would have been a card back in the day, right when I first got into collecting, that I would really would have enjoyed picking up. The, uh, the Peterson Auto, we talked about it in that vlog, but the Peterson Auto is just, I mean, it's humongous. It's so uh, elegant and just, he does such a good job with it. Um, been a big fan of that since. Uh, I remember picking up his stuff when I was younger. Super good to grab one of these now. I thought it was really cool. Definitely a PC card there. All right, let's get into some of these lots. There's a ton of cool stuff. I mentioned some 101 Hall of Famers 
well, how about this? Lot? So this is a lot of baseball, but there's some things in here I just thought made too much sense. You gotta look at Eddie Matthews, one of one century materials, platinum bat card, triple relic. Get 80 bucks on it. So do I think this is one that's gonna sell for a thousand dollars? No, probably not. But the fact that this costs less money than a mosaic 2021 football mega, I just it's hard to pass it up, right? Uh, game used 101 bat Eddie Matthews Hall of Famer for that price seemed like a no-brainer uh, Mariano Rivera at a 25 colossal on card jersey auto uh, Johnny is this, it's Johnny Bench right yeah Johnny Bench from 2016 National Treasures Baseball greatest catcher ever 6 of 49 I think he was what 5 so is that one off his jersey number Sparky Anderson old Reds manager uh I think it's game used too. Yeah, game used material at a 10. Uh, the straw man, Daryl Strawberry on card auto at a 99. Rod Carew, one of one, triple jersey relic bat piece. You got an Elston Howard, one of one, national treasures greatness patch. Again, game used. This booklet is sick. I'm not even sure I can get it all on camera. How about that? You got the tag patch of Hosmer. You got Beltray multicolor, pool holes. You got Miggy, Donaldson, Chris Davis, uh, Mike Stanton, Mookie Betts. A lot of guys on this. So, again, it was like, hit 150 on it. And I probably got a discounted bulk deal, and the guy was super fun to talk to. So I was like, this just seems like a cool card to pick up. Mike Schmidt, one of one, tag patch. Um, game used from 2020 National Treasures. You got a McCovey. And again, I learned about these in at the time. Like he was talking about like where these tags come from. Like this one is uh, McGregor. So like he talked about like when McGregor stopped making uniforms for baseball or for the Twins. I think it was baseball. And then like, they stopped in like 54. So this would have been one of Killebrew's first couple years in, this, in the MLB. It's like he talked a lot about it. I thought it was cool to learn about the history of it. But got both of these around the 150 mark. And I just... Not uh, not ever something I expect to go for millions of dollars, but to get game used tag patches of uh, Hall of Fame baseball players for 150 bucks, I think I've spent it on worse. So that was kind of my thought process on a lot of that stuff. We even picked up some hockey. I know that's uh, not something we'd normally pick up, but did find some cool stuff. Uh, Borkstrand Auto, Sign of the Times on card. Always trying to pick up cheap Blue Jacket stuff. We sell a ton of it in shop. We get asked for it all the time. So the five to fifty dollar blue jacket stuff, I try to pick up where I can. This was cool. Uh, I like the color match. I thought that was neat. But this is second year Prism hockey. This is thirteen fourteen blue pulsar. Steven Stamkos um, thought that was cool and it was cheap. Uh, Max Dome or no Roslovic. I thought this was Domi. Um, Roslovic patch auto at a one forty nine autograph debut threads from Ultimate Collection. He is in his Winnipeg jersey, but uh, is a jacket now, and I'm a, I'm a fan of him. Uh, I'm fairly confident there's one of the Blue Jackets players now actually went to Miami, which is where I started uh, down in Oxford. And I think Ross, I think it was Rock, Roslovic, uh, who was at, was there the same time. And I went to a bunch of hockey games. I was a big uh, Miami hockey fan. They were actually really good. Uh, so it was fun to go to games. Like it was an electric arena. So it was at a 149. So I, th I saw that and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I'll pick that up and probably keep that. Uh, Pete Rose, iconic ink auto at 25. That was cheap. Boone Jenner, Mammoth, uh, Jumbo Jersey at a 50. Matthews, 61, may end up being the amount of goals he scores this year. Um, most goals ever for an American in a season. I think he's, at, the, at right now he's like 52 or 53, um, but an exquisite base, I thought that was cool. Another OPG Platinum at a 399 of Matthews. Boone Jenner, Rookie Auto, uh, Warinsky, three color premium game use patch at the 25 and a Sidney Crosby Goodwin Champions jersey. So, some cheap stuff there. Then we got this deal. This stuff, uh, this was kind of cool. This is actually only the second one of these I've ever found, and I found it in a $2 box. We'll definitely keep these. I try to grab these when I see them, and I keep them in the PC. Snyder was uh, an, Olympian, uh, an Olympic wrestler, also won title, uh, what was it, college wrestling titles at Ohio State. Um, so he is a Buckeye, so when I see the relics, I try to keep those. Joe Mixon Auto, Roy Williams Exquisite Patch. I thought that was kind of cool. It was super cheap, like two or three bucks. Uh, large in Jersey. Don't uh, ignore some of these prices. A lot of them were like in a $5 box, so that was cheaper. 
I uh, picked these up in like a $2.50, 50, $2.50 $2 each box, like two for five. Uh, Broyles letters, we talked about it before. The letters, somebody's always looking to complete a nameplate. They spell it Sooners. So you need two S's in Sooners. So I figure for a couple bucks, somebody might be looking for those. Jason Campbell, exquisite game use patch at a 40. Ozzie Newsome jersey. Boomer uh, Asaisen out of 84. Tristan McKenzie, jersey auto for the Indians, or the Guardians, excuse me. Uh, John Taylor, patch out of 21. Phil Sims, game used. Jalen Waddle, auto. Najee Harris, auto. They weren't expensive. They're from cheap products, but for 25 bucks. Uh, Vlad Guerrero, optic, pink on card auto. Saw the pink velocity, apparently I was surprised it wasn't numbered, but still on card. Zeke, rookie auto out of 100. Uh, Bo Jackson, Jersey College Heroes, numbered at... She just noticed this. 34 out of 50. Yeah. I just noticed this was jersey numbered. I flipped it over real quick to see if it was numbered there, and I didn't even pay attention to the 34. Uh, J Bo Jackson jersey number, College Heroes, from 2008 Sports Legends. That's really cool. Uh, it was like 15 or 20 bucks. Soto, Topps Chrome, Black, Auto, and Case. And then uh, LeBron James, MVP, PSA 9. Alright, and then if you guys watch the vlogs, we picked up a bunch from a gentleman named Joe. Super, super easy to deal with. I'm trying to keep these together so I can show you guys everything we got at one time. Because there was two lots purchased at two separate times. And I think I think this is all of it. Oh no, it's right here. I was like, I know there's two piles to this. Alright, so two piles. First deal was like somewhere between 5,500, six grand, something like that. All right, you got two of these. I like these as an Ohio State fan, so I figured a Penn State fan would appreciate having these on eBay. So these will likely go up on eBay here soon. But these are sneak peek cleats of Chris Godwin. I'll take super scratched, much cooler. Good looking, uh, good looking uh, cleat piece out of eight. Super, super thick card, right? So like here's a normal card. Here's the, right? Crazy. I got another one. I got a Nick Chubb Origins on card rookie auto. A Michael Strahan on card auto from Plates and Patches. Five of five. Josh Allen, Cracked Dice Game Day Ticket. You have a Gronk Ice Ticket Auto out of 23. A LeBron Green Mosaic 95 True Gem, 30 bucks. Didn't think that was bad. There's a Nick Chubb rookie auto out of 25 from Contenders Draft. Aaron Jones Auto uh, Illuminate out of 49 from 2021 Illuminates. 2019 Illuminates football. Uh, Brady Encased out of 75. Charles White, USC running back, one of one on card auto. Brady NT, this is cool. I'll definitely keep this. 2017 National Treasures. I like the, since they don't make exquisite football or other, as many crazy high-end base products, this is going to be one of Brady's best base cards in his career. So I'm definitely going to keep that. This patch is so sick. It's game used. Edelman, Gronk, and Amendola, number 9 of 10. Wish it was Brady in the middle, but still. I mean, the, the Edelman patch is just filthy. Filthy, filthy. Might keep that. Not 100% sure. And then a game used three-color patch auto of Rich Gannon out of 25. Something cheap, and it was game used. I thought that was cool. Got a Miles Sanders multicolor. Uh, four P four color patch auto out of twenty three, Aussie Newsom on card auto, and I noticed this at the time, but it is eighty two of ninety nine, which is jersey number. You guys know we love that. And then four pretty nice Josh Allen's. You got a blue color match one seventy one of one seventy five as a nine. Not sure if it's got potential to cross the PSA. Might look at doing that, but we'll see. Good looking card there. And then three cracked dice. Contenders draft rookie autos, 4 of 23, 18 of 23, one off his jersey number, and 14 of 23. So, three cracked dice rookie autos. Um, I've gone to the last, uh, show the last few weekends and still have some coming up, and it seems like that a lot of these, at a lot of these shows, Josh Allen is one of the people uh, that people keep asking about. So, just felt like it was a, uh, it was right to, to grab a couple a couple cards of him, especially at a fair price considering uh, market value. Now, got another lot from him, uh, from Joe the second day. 
And this is what was in it the second day. A lot cheaper. Not as many big cards, but still some really cool stuff. Nick Chubb, pink rookie from Prism. Uh, Jack Cam out of five. Again, just good stuff for the Columbus area, Browns, Steelers, stuff like that. Hunter Renfro on card auto. Josh Allen, rookie jersey. Gronk, jersey auto. Good as gold from Gold Standard. Josh Allen, rookie selections. Silver Prism, SGC 10. Josh Allen, field level, rookie, nine. Uh, Nick Bosa. RPA numbered 62 of 125 from Panini 1. Uh, Howie Long Auto at a 50, 9, 5, 10. I thought this price was a little high. I think the last one of these raw did like right around the $30 mark. So I don't think it's quite that high, but probably paid pretty strong on that. And then a Tyree Kill on card auto from Black Gold out of 99. Scary Terry, RPA numbered to a 140, uh, 249. Yeah, 249 from Panini Limited. Another Josh Allen numbered prism. This one's out of 199. So you got a select blue and a prism light blue die cut. A Chris Godwin past and present one of one tag patch rookie BGS nine. Josh Allen rookie jersey. That's numbered one of 99. Gotta love the first or last or jersey number numbering. Uh, illustrious legends Howie Long on card auto from Spectra out of five. Don't see those pop up very often. Brady black gold out of a hundred. Daniel Craig, James Bond, on card auto. I had a thousand bucks on it, but I think these do right around the seven seven fifty mark. So paid five hundred on that. We'll probably keep the Bond auto in the PC. Uh, T Higgins, impeccable rookie auto out of ninety nine. Josh Allen, red, white, and blue prism rookie. AJ Green, on card auto out of five from Panini One Football, and then. Three Brett Favre printing plate on card autos from 2018 Panini Impeccable. This is the Indelible Ink, uh, Indelible Ink set, and there's three of them. I got yellow, cyan, and magenta. So the only one we're missing is black. So I ended up getting these for about 200 a piece, like 220 a piece. Um, I think it was a little less than 220. But I don't think that's a bad buy for Favre 101 on card autos. Favre, Favre sells pretty well. Um, Packers, go Packers legend, an NFL Hall of Fame quarterback. Favre stuff moves pretty pretty well. So that those uh, those shouldn't be too tough. Did get some nice Tigers. Paid 400 for these. Honestly, didn't look them up, but thought the fact that they were graded and Tiger Woods authentic relics. Uh, got a red front nine fabric. Got a... Uh, Authentic, uh, authentic Fabric Singles jersey, and then a triple, which has got multi-colored pieces, including the Sunday Red um, from 2003 Upper Deck. So 2003 SP, 2003 Upper Deck Golf, and then 2002 SP Game Used. So didn't think that was a bad buy at 400 bucks for a couple more Tigers. Then a few lots. Let's see, we got... This lot, it had a Trey Lance jersey, a couple of Jamar Chase jerseys. There's two of them in here. Got a black and a white relic. He sells really well in Columbus. Nick Lodolo auto from Optic. Joe Burrow numbered Spectra out of 149. Got a Cabrian Hayes Optic Blue out of 99 auto. Got a Kellen Mond Aspiring Rookie Patch auto numbered 3 of 75. And then a Bob Lilly auto out of 72 for uh, TCU and the Cowboys. Picked these three up. Got a Chase Young Obsidian RPA, 11 of 25. Uh, I'll show this one first. Michael Thomas and Joey Bosa, dual rookie jersey from 2016 Unparalleled, numbered at 149. And then, I've never seen one of these. They have them in this year's. I don't think they're called Next Up. But it's like a Chase Young. It's like a multi-pose thing. It's pretty cool. It's like, It's 3D. But there's like, a, it looks like there's a couple different poses. Maybe just two. But really cool card. Never seen one before. And it is a rookie. So, thought that was kind of a cool piece. And then, let's see what else we got. Almost done. This is the last pile, I think. So shout out to those of you that made it this far. If you guys made it this far, you would not mind leaving a thumbs up. Let us know down below what your favorite pickup of the video was. But, as always, appreciate you guys watching. I uh, got this lot right here in a half off box. Thought we did pretty well on this. I took some chances on these first two cards. I had no idea, but felt confident, confident in the rest. So uh, Daniel Alfredson, this is early prism. Yeah, this is first year prism numbered out of 50 red color match 
first year prism hockey. There's not a ton of it, so for six bucks, we'll take a chance. And then an Eddie George uh, finest, what is it, bulldozers? Yeah, bulldozers from his rookie year, '97. Or he was a, yeah, he's a rookie in '97. Um, so there's that. And then got a Reggie Jackson game used bat under ten bucks. Aikman jersey out of a hundred. Tony Dorsett game used jersey. Crosby, Malkin, uh, Dubinsky, and Gabrick quad jersey. Reggie Jackson game used jersey. Randy Moss game used jersey with the old school throwback out of a hundred. Thought that was cool. Uh, Luca Crown Royal rookie jersey for twenty five. That seems like a pretty good get. Kirilov, Don Rosado, uh, Anthony Simons out of forty nine. And then that was another deal. So not too bad there at half off. Pick these three up for like 120-ish. You got a Ray Lewis gold number to 10. A Joe Thomas auto out of 10. Another one of those probably for the PC. And then a Chris Mortensen fans of the game auto. Um, love the NFL draft. I've talked about these before when we've picked these up. But big fan of the NFL draft. So getting Mortensen and Mel Kiper autos from this set is pretty cool. So I try to pick those up where I can. Did pick up three wrestling cards. Um, don't know a ton about it. I picked up a couple in Chantilly, but we get asked about it every now and then. So uh, two Undertaker rookies and a Roman Reigns on card auto out of one ninety nine from Tops. Um, the Reigns will probably go out and shop, and the Undertakers will probably be graded. But didn't think that was too bad. And then got these. Got a Joe Thomas auto from Immaculate out of ninety nine. The Eye Black auto. Uh, Javon Holland auto out of ten. I talked about it in the vlog. I think. Um, but this dude, we saw a bunch of his stuff. And then a Jonathan Cooper rookie auto from Contenders. He's a Buckeye and he's from Gehanna, which is about 20 minutes from my shop. So had to get that. Last but not least, we have a Tom Brady Prism Draft Color Blast PSA 9. Uh, there's a PSA 10 up for like eight grand or something. It's, it's pretty high. And then a BGS 9.5 did like 1900. And I got this for a thousand. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. May look to crack and regrade. Not sure. Um, it's been a minute since I've created a color blast, but either way, it's a good looking card. It was for the longest, or for the first couple years, they didn't have the names or really anything on it. It was just the player in the, in the logo, uh, the color blast, but they added some other stuff from it. They could have kept the Michigan logo off of it, but either way, still a, still a cool card of the goat. So yeah, a pretty good show. A lot of variety. Not as much bulk, maybe, as we've gotten in some of the past shows, but felt really good with some of the stuff. Again, Josh Allen, we've seen his name pop up in a lot of these shows. We got some Tiger stuff. We got some Farbs and some other Hall of Fame 101s. Uh, got some cool Buckeyes. Just a lot of different stuff, a lot of cool plays. So hopefully be able to get back on the road here soon, hit up some more shows, and create some more cool content. But for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.